Okay, welcome back everyone. I'm Connor K, and this is episode 3 of our Let's Sacred Stones. And we're heading off to Eid to do something. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted potty of vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Chasing rumors of her brothers, she sets out for Grotto. The group's first stop is the remote village of Eid, which was, until very recently, a part of Rainus. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Rainus with her own eyes. The Protected. Seth has mapped out a route for us. Yay! Hey boss, we found more villages ripe for the picking. One, two, three. Haha, <laughs> I love a good war. With all these with all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right? Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Oh great! Bandits! Of course. Dad, bandits approaching. Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. I start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. This is great. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. I like these two characters. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone, help my son. Ah, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. Ah, I have a bigger group now. Yay! I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? Yup, bandits! We arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible, but but I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair are the villagers? I spot a one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Mulder, can your staff help him? Well yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Pegasi can fly! So I'll grab this guy. The little one. Boop. <laughs> I love the sound that the map makes when it pops up. Alright, so, let's see, how many people we got to deal with? Not many. Okay, this is a bit frustrating because, as you can see, you can visit villages. This is terrible, what are we going to do? Those bandits are, all, are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed! Perhaps. People listen to me, you must close the village gates immediately. Hurry before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am er my name is Arena, I'm a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more you than that, I feel, but don't worry, it's none of my affair. I haven't told you yet who I am, have I? I am Selena, a general in Grado's army. Is something wrong? No uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I must leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. If you're armed and you claim to be a mercenary, will you help them? Um, is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of Grotto's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I petition your aid. Take this as payment. 
So yeah, there we had Selena. She's one of the, uh, one of the, uh, what are they called? They all have, like, stones as their names. Uh, we, we met one in the beginning, Valtered Moonstone. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. I think she might be talking about Joshua. Alright. And what I mean by it's annoying is because if the bandits, like they showed, get to the fucking uh, villages, they destroy them. And you can't get any of the awards or whatever it is. Garcia, no! Nah, he's fine. Or is he? Okay, we'll drop this guy off over here. Yeah. Okay, so he is fully healed. I guess I talked to him with Erica, yeah? Yep. Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. Alright, just, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Lead the villagers to us, we'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm gonna fight too. But, my father's out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to him as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. Alright, I can see you're not going to be swayed. You must promise you'll stay close to us. So Ross is a unique case. A young villager, he longs to be a warrior like his father. Ross is what's called a journeyman. Uh, there are three variations of this class, and what they are is they're, they're like rookie classes. They're like like, everybody is in their first class, lords, cavaliers, and everything, but priest, pegasus knight, and Seth is in his second class, a paladin. These are like zeroth classes. The characters are remarkably weak, but they make up for it with really, really good growth rates, and the ability to class up twice. Because he can class up into like a fighter or whatever, and then from there on class up again. So they, they, they start off as like the weakest units, but they become the best. And so we have Ross, a journeyman variation. Young fighters with high expectations. Axis. And we get two more later on named Amelia and Ewan. I believe that's also the order that we get them in. So they're a bit tricky to use in like actual combat, but once they get better, it's totally worth it. Like seriously, just put in the time. Winklevoss twins. I need to get Seth closer down there so he can go, uh... Seriously? It was 76% chance of hitting and he hit me with a 66? I'm calling Bulski. They also get a bunch of EXP. Obviously. Okay, come on, let's fix it this time. Let's do it right! That's much better. Much, much better. Thank you. And I level up! Okay, 
That's much, much better. Heal some people. It's actually not a uh, permanent feature to have that show up. You know, uh, the uh, what's it called? Uh, hopefully, they don't attack Seth. Oh god, no! I made a mistake! Okay, he's such a slow bastard, so I don't have to worry about that. Should I go get Garcia? I don't think I can rescue him. I think he might be too heavy. Oh god, he's in danger down there, though. Stop missing everyone! Thank you. Let's visit this village over here. Hmm. What is it? What's all the ruckus? What? B bandits! Spread the word, everyone! Close the village gates! Ermagerd! Uh, thank you for your warning. Please accept this as a small token. We're dead! Pure water. Okay, let's see. And also, a funny thing about these guys that I actually didn't get to play with a lot, because I, you know, I'm a dumb dumb. Shit. Uh, do any of you have long range weapons? Nope. But, uh, like. I think if you beat the game both ways, you get the ability to class up Ross, Amelia, and, e and Ewan, the lower class characters, into something else. I forget what it's called. Like, Recruit or something? I don't remember. But apparently it's really good. I actually have, in all my history of beating this game, I've never actually done it for a few reasons. Maybe anyway, the game only has three save files, and uh, I used them all up. Like, I used two of them. The necessary to, and then the last one uh, goes to someone else. Like my sister, Shadowstar, plays the game just as much as I do. She actually, I was just talking to her, telling her I started uploading this Let's Play. And she told me that she uh, she also just started playing this game again, so... Oh, well, what do you know? Good job, Garcia. Well, none of those guys had a hammer, right? Hope not. Garcia, what are you doing, you fool? Defeat enemy. Okay, we need to take them all out. Die! Stick! You fool! Yeah, I remember this chapter too. It does get worse, I will say that. And by worse, I mean harder. Not like worse as in the game gets bad. Then again, the same could be said about every single uh, Fire Emblem game. You know, they, st they start out pretty simple. Although at the same time, because everyone's so stoddy outy, it's the the easiest time to lose people is in the like in the early game. It'll become easier to hold on to everybody as time goes by. Yay! So this so this victory is a route.
which means basically just take everybody out. So I guess it means we're down to just one. No, you know what? That's a bad idea. And let's get you out of there. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, I didn't check his thing. Oh, he won't die. Right? He won't die? Okay, cool. I wanted to check his, uh... His, uh... Oh no, don't kill him! Damn it! I was gonna check his like little information bio. It's probably just like a bandit or something like that. Erg, blast! I died, and you took my exp, Garcia. You son of a bitch! You saved my son. I owe you my thanks, and you owe me my exp. You son of a bitch! It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Rainus, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Rainus until around ten years ago. While well, as a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rainus. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength for Rainus once again? I'm sorry, I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore, it's a decision I made a long time ago. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm the boy's father. Yep, he's a blasted fool. What's all this nonsense I'm hearing? If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of I'd. I'm not going to lose to you, I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve you, I'd like to join you. Yay! Yeah, that's right, we get two and one! It's like a bargain deal! Thank you so much for your help. Please stay at night and rest. We would if we could. We have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you, my father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. You should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rainus was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Bazbuz bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and... Oh, it was awful. Yeah, um... The bandit they remind me a lot of the Tavalier bandits from, uh... Uh, Lin Edwin Hector's game. Which is just called Fire Emblem here. The one before this. Our only hope against him was that Prince Ethram would prevail, but rumor has it he's on the verge of being crushed by Grotto's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Flashback. <laughs> okay, here we got Ephraim for the first time in the flashback. I forget when we get to actually see him in game. I think it should be soon. Why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problem without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers should always protect their sisters. 
It's nothing for you to worry about, it's no cause for concern. And the eldest, I mean, I know they're twins, but I'm pretty sure he's the older twin, as they say. <laughs> nice turn around there. Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. Might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you. You won't hold back, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we start it, Erica. Complain? Me? Never. Yeah. That's what they all say. And if Path of Radiance shows us anything, is that people take sparring a bit too seriously. Oops. Beg your pardon. Hey. Hey! Hey, you! Princess, are you alright? Yeah, someone bumped into me. It was, was all. I'm just jarred. Your, per your highness, where's your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift for my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess, we must retrieve your bracelet regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go, we must hurry. He's like, nah, it's just not a not thing. It's a thing. We need the thing. So let's go get the thing. Do what I say, because the thing is thing. The bandits of Bargo, is that what it said? Okay. That was a rather uneventful chapter. Oh, I, sh I thought I had something to say, and I guess I didn't. But we got, we got, we got Ross and Garcia, which is pretty ace, as I said before. Let's see, where are they? There they are. Russ. Oh yeah, I already read his. And Garcia. A villager from Reynus. He was once a feared military leader. And I gotta make a lot of use of all these people. Basically what Fire Emblem games amount to, especially like when you start getting tons of people, instead of changing who you are playing as all the time, you have to pick and choose who it is that you absolutely want to stick with. So if you don't, for example, if one playthrough, because there are three horse dudes, Franz, Kyle, and Ford in this game. If one playthrough you decide, I want to focus on Kyle and Ford instead, and you don't want to use Franz at all, you might as well just stop using him now and use uh, Seth to take care of whatever Franz would have. You know, to say. Not to say to get all the XP Franz would have, but if, you know, it's really, Seth is helpful, if anything, if you don't want to abuse him too much, just to block. Which is the same use for a lot of them go. At the same time, if you do train Seth, he'll, you know, he'll still turn out alright. You can definitely use him, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to give the EXP to other people, that's totally understandable as well. It's just, you know, it's picking and choosing. You gotta pick and choose who you want to use. I kind of want to use Ross this time. A lot, because he's really useful. I mean, the other two are, it's just that since they come later, it's a bit harder to just integrate them into your group. Since they're always in constant danger of being murdered. So, you know, that's always a thing. But we'll see what happens. I don't quite remember the Bandits of Borgo chapter, except that I do, because this is where we recruit two more characters, I believe. So let's look forward to that. And I'll see you all next time.